Well, um, just to recap, for this run, I'm only allowed to kill bosses with their own stuff. So I can use their armor, I can use their weapons, I can use their spells. Uh, any talismans are permitted um, in order to like round out the build for each boss. I am probably going to give myself some larval tiers as well, so I don't have to like waste a shitload of time hunting them down. But I can only use their stuff for their fights. Talismans, like I said, they're permitted. I can use their armor, all that stuff. Um, they're only, by the way, um, I forgot to mention this earlier. The allowed items are only allowed for the health bar in which they take place in. So, for instance, right? Scarlet Aonia. Now, I know I'm not going to be using Scarlet Aonia against, uh, against Melania because she's immune to it. But... I can't use Scarlet Aonia in Phase 1. I can only use it in Phase 2, if that makes sense. Um, anytime there's a health bar reset, the mechanics of that health bar apply. So I have to, like, on the fly swap stuff. Now, that's not going to happen too often. Um, there's only a handful of the um, of the Remembrance bosses that actually do that. But just so you know, I can only use their stuff. Um, no major glitches, no cheesing bosses, no DTS butt smack or anything like that. Um, I can't exceed the stat requirements for the weapons. So if it takes 24 strength to wield something, I am not allowed to level up strength past 24. I can use talismans to get it past 24 and further bolster damage, bolster damage but I cannot level past that 24. Everything else is going to go into either, um, you know, vigor or something else. Uh, so bare fist for Horalu. Well, Horalu is all one health bar, so I can still use the axe for that health bar. That's why I wanted to make a very clear distinction between, like, one health bar versus two health bars, is because it just... I don't want to overcomplicate things. I'm not looking at specific phases of the fight. I'm looking at specific health bars, just to make things, like, very crystal clear on what I'm doing. So I will still use Godfrey's Axe for Horror Loop. And I will also use Godfrey's Axe for... Because I'm going to have to kill um, his Remembrance. I'm going to use his Axe for that, too. So... Um, uh, I think that's that's pretty straightforward. The only other thing that I wanted to talk about is that if there's two bosses in the room, so I'm looking at Godskin Duo, right? Um, I can only use one of their equip sets. I can't have, like, a mix. I have to just pick one and use that, and then that's the end of it. So um, just keep that in mind. I can't run, like, the Godskin Peeler and the Stitcher. I have to pick one or the other. Okay. I think we are good to go, so here we go. And I also am not required to use everything that they have either, right? <clears throat> I'm not going to require myself to, like, you know, level up Ronnie's full moon and get to, like, level 70 or whatever. Yo, Ish, what's up, buddy? I'm not going to do this boss because I don't have to. So we're just going to go ahead and jump off the cliff. I think what we're going to start with is we're going to start by getting Torrent. And uh, just gathering some flasks and just getting some basic levels because I'm going to be giving myself a colossal club for Margit. We could also add the region lock. What do you guys think? We could maybe do the region lock as well. I'm honestly not sure how region lock would work for a run like this. But it would prevent me from, like, just, like, being OP by having, like, way too many flasks, if that makes sense. Like, I, I'd be okay doing region lock. We could do region lock, too. Let's do that. Alright, so to start, like I said, I'm gonna get torrent because I just think that it's the right thing to do. <laughs> I have a club, it is the only weapon that I have, but obviously I'm not going to be using that club. 
I'm gonna have to get a bigger club to like kind of sort of match. Like I said, Margit does not have a, like you can't take his club because that club actually turns into his Cursed Blood Greatsword or whatever the fuck it's called. Also that you're not no, I'm not going to buy anything from him anyway, so I'm just going to grab the grace and move on. What do you guys think of my Giga Chad, uh, my Giga Chad, uh, character design? What do you guys think? This is the first Giga Chad that I've put together. I made sure to give him extra body hair, super big muscles, and absolutely no color whatsoever. Had to make sure that shit was grayscale, dog. All right, so we're going to rest at this site of grace. We'll get torrent and then we'll go ahead and like Have you served you? We'll we'll go ahead and do everything we can in the region before we move on to Morgot or Margaret rather. Margaret, Morgot, whatever. I bequeath. Technically it is Morgot. But... Treat him with Yeah, we'll go ahead and do region lock. I think that'll make things a little bit more interesting. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, actually, let me go up, let me go up to, uh, the shack first. I'll have to figure out what kind of stomps... that uh, Horalu uses, because I'll, I'll probably use... What, what I may do... What I may do instead of, like, trying to do some weird shit with, uh, with Horalu in Phase 2, I may just see whatever kind of, like, physical damage stomps I can get to match. I, I think... Because I know Horfrost Stomp is basically just a Frost version of whatever that other Stomp is. I don't actually know what the name of his, like, Earth Cracking Stomp is, though. It's probably Hor something. I'm just going to grab this Grace. I don't have to worry about it later. Or lose Earth Shaker? Is that the one where he, like, just, like, does his, like, random Stomp? I'm not going to do quit outs. If I don't have to. I guess I can just cast off my runes. If this guy will leave me alone. Dog! Leave me alone. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this without quit outs too. I, I know those are kind of just like random rules that I'm throwing in after the fact, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it with no quit outs. Um, okay, so I can grab some golden seeds and stuff, so I'm gonna do that. I do want to try. Everyone who can only to have did you know? Quite them. You were heading to entice. Well, that but I don't have. It's scary. I want to. Am I am I a pro? Epic Fortnite gamer? N no. It was home. I don't know if she just like disappears later or whatever. I'm honestly not sure, but the whole region lock thing will probably defer me being able to get that stuff. So let me just let me go to Gatefront and then Weeping Peninsula is still technically part of Limgrave? Yeah, the employee of the month. 
like he's like you you are not allowed to participate in the shenanigans I'm gonna go deal with Kenneth Height and get his golden seed Obviously, the challenge is really only applicable to bosses in terms of, like, using their weapons and stuff against them. But I'm, you know, like, I'm going to kick this guy off the ledge, you know what I mean? I don't really, <laughs> I don't really know what to tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? This dude's getting yeeted off the ledge, bro, and I'm getting that seed. I'm going to grab the physic, too, because I am going to allow myself to use the physic. I actually feel like I passed. Hold on. No, he's over here. I'm gonna grab the axe talisman while I'm over here too. Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Fight. Yes, I've come to I've come to deliver you to gracious. Come your fast. Goodbye. <laughs> My favorite part of the game, dude. My favorite part of the game is yeeting that guy off of a cliff. <laughs> See ya, dude. It's been real, dog. It's been real. Alright, and again, this is region lock, so I can't take the portal here to Caleb. That'll at least limit me from, like, leveling up my flask to just be, like, super fucking OP at the very beginning of the game. I will grab this grace just in case. I'm probably not going to use it, but... I'll basically just grab the seeds. Uh, I'm going to grab the... I actually am really bad at remembering what tiers go where. I also totally didn't start the timer, so cool. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna. I guess I'm just gonna rock this playthrough without the timer. I mean, I guess I don't really need it anyway, so who cares? Um, I'm gonna grab the tiers here, though, or not the tiers. The the freaking the the. What are they called? Whatever the things are that you put in the physic. Are they tears? Maybe they're cracked tears or something. I don't know what they're called. I know you have sacred tears which upgrade the flask. These are called... Oh, they are tears. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. But yes, I am going to grab the axe talisman because that's going to be one of the big uh, items that I'm going to use that's actually going to contribute to, like, upgrading my damage. Yeah, I mean, this is the real deal. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this run on YouTube, but there we go. We got the axe talisman. I'm gonna grab the Dectus medallion while we're over here too. They send me this way. I know that uh, I know that a run similar to this has been done by I think it was Bushy that did it. Um, but. His was a little different in that his run involved him having to, like, kill the boss and then take their stuff. Whereas my run is, like, killing them with their stuff. So there's, there's a pretty big difference in the fundamentals, fundamentals of it, but... His was more of a Kirby run. Mine's more of a Mimic tier run, if that makes sense. Bushy didn't like cosplay fully. Yeah. Well, that's why I thought I'd differentiate with this run because I felt like his, he literally named his character Kirby. I'm going to go ahead and say that where applicable bleed like like greases associated with like specific bosses that bleed. I'm going to allow myself to use greases to enhance my damage too. Because my damage is going to be like literal shit. So I'll go ahead and grab the Blood Rose, even though I, I may or may not use it. If the weapon 
bleeds and allows me to use bleed grease, then I will use bleed grease. Or like if the weapon applies poison, then I will put poison grease on my weapon, if that makes sense. But I'm not going to go anything for, like I said, these, these weapons are going to remain at plus zero, so... What does he do if he falls off this thing? Yep. <laughs> nice. Oh, does he just keep doing that? Oh, man, this is going to be so funny. Does he straight up just keep attempting it until he... <laughs> I've never actually stood here to see what he does. Well, is he going to give up? Dude, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do, man. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That is pretty funny, dog. All right. He just keeps climbing and up and down the ladder. <laughs> That's good stuff. All right. So for Margit, I'm only going to be able to put on Margit's cloak. And then, I'm, like I said, I'm going to have to substitute his cane thing for a colossal club but I've got the axe talisman so I'll probably be trying to use that to enhance my charge r2 on the colossal club but I'm gonna have to level up somehow in order to be able to wield that club in the first place so that's where the region lock is gonna kind of add an extra challenge to this run is that I can't just like give myself the colossal club go grab a bunch of runes and then be done with it, right? Like, I have to... I have to cosplay the boss. So... I have to then also have the stats to wield whatever it is that I am cosplaying with. Let's go to Weeping... Like I said, Weeping is technically part of uh, of Limgrave, so there is no Remembrance boss there. That's the reason why it's considered to be part of Limgrave. Like when you do, like it, like when Dis was doing his region lock thing, like you were allowed to go to Limgrave. Ah! What? Oh, it's bullshit. Oh, it's that one. Whoops. I went to the wrong pillar, y'all. Shit. It's okay. It's fine. Love to hold their weapons in the air for five seconds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they love it. They're obsessed with the fake outs, man. I'm pretty sure after Sekiro, Miyazaki was like, yeah, we should totally fuck with them, man and just subvert all expectations going into this game. Because the thing is, when... When, uh... When Sekiro came out, it threw everybody for a loop because it doesn't play like any of the Souls games. Like, a lot of people don't even consider Sekiro to be a Soulsborne game because of the fact that the, uh... The combat is just so different, right? And then with Elden Ring, they're like, yeah, we're just gonna make every boss just, like, act like they're attacking you before actually attacking you. <laughs> Dude, Margit made me hella toxic. I got so mad at Margit, man. Miyazaki's probably like, yeah, how about how about they don't attack? Like, like it's just be mind-blowing, right? be absolutely mind-blowing, dog. I'm trying to think of the easiest way that I could get runes to level without having to kill any bosses while I'm in Limgrave. 
I'm trying to think about what that path would be. I could definitely loot some graveyards and get a few runes, but there's not really any... There's not really any good options there. I mean, we could say that just, like, the regular club is, like, a good enough substitute for Margit. Like, we could, we could say that. So that way I don't have to, like, try to level up a shit ton and get the stats for a Colossal Club, which is going to be, like, 20-something stamina. I mean, I'm fine with that. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Like I said, we... Margit doesn't have a weapon that I can, like, take one-to-one -one anyway, so we'll probably just have to find, like, the most reasonable substitute. And if that's a weapon that, like, I, you know... Like, obviously, I have to be able to equip that weapon, so... Oh, that... Oh, my... Dude, what is up with all these frame stutters, man? Jesus Christ. I gotta double back this way to get... You know what I think it is, honestly? I think that there's something wrong with Weeping Peninsula, because I feel like this happens every time I'm in Weeping. How do you plan on fighting Remembrance bosses before you get their weapons? So I am going to use a tool to give myself the weapons. That's like the only, like, uh... That, that's like the only caveat to this run, is that I do have to give myself the weapons. Since this isn't a New Game Plus run, you know what I mean? It also kind of like uh, the other the alternative would be that yeah I could have done a new game plus run but then I would have been like I would have been like stupidly over leveled if I would have done that you know what I mean I mean I guess there is a way to like edit your new game plus using cheat engine but I'd rather not resort to that I'd rather try to when I do challenge runs, I do like to try to be at least a little bit simplistic because I think the more you complicate things, it's just it's hard to follow along with what's actually going on. I think when I go to edit this, what's going to make it really easy is like you just know that whatever boss I'm fighting, I'm using either the exact moveset that they use weapon wise and spell wise or whatever the closest thing is. If I can't cosplay it like one to one. Like Margit, I'm pretty sure all Margit has is just his cloak and his weapon. But, like, I'm not going to use his, like, OP fucking weapon against him. But there's also a reason why this is, like, can I kill all of the main... Like, I don't know that I'm going to subject myself to the challenge with, like... I mean, think about it like this. If I want to get... A golden seed, right? I could get a golden seed in Limgrave by killing the Ulcerated Tree Spirit, but like, what the fuck am I going to kill the Ulcerated Tree Spirit with? Because there's nothing in their moveset that I can get. You know, I could get a Fire Breath kind of spell, but it's not going to be the same spell that they use, right? So, and then I'm also not going to have the stats for that spell, right? So, that's why I want to try to like keep it pretty simple. And I'm also probably just, like, not going to kill the Ulcerated Tree Spirit, so. The challenge itself really only applies to the main bosses. Like, I'm going to be respecking a lot. Uh, there's a hole here. Yep. He has his holy hammer. Seen a few PvPers try. I didn't know that you could get that as, like, a sorcery. Or, that's probably an incantation, I would think. Once I get out of combat here, good luck on Renala. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to give myself the stuff for each fight, so that should that should cut things down. But yeah, I'm pretty sure her magic resist is, like, fucking insane. All right, let me go, let me go uh, to the shack, because I want to get the strength tier. Uh, the gavel is a sorcery. It's blue and not yellow. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, yeah, let me go get the uh, let me go get the strength tier as well, so that I can charge up my physic. 
I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should try to just, like, run around and find the runes for getting a bigger club? Or do you guys think that I should just count this club as, like, the closest thing to Margaret's fucking cane? I'll let you guys decide since it's, uh, you know, this run is for your guys' entertainment. get a curved club by farming albinorix yeah i was thinking about the curved club to the curved club too but like i said i'm just gonna give myself the stuff so i was thinking maybe because he uses t technically he uses like a colossal club and there is one in the game but you need like i think it's like 30 strength or something and i don't think i'm getting 30 strength with region lock so the alternative is that i don't do region lock but i i kind of want to do region lock so I'm thinking that maybe just doing, like, the regular curve club, yeah. It's more my size anyway, you know? <laughs> Alright. Let me, let me go ahead and fire up the tool. Because I think I'm ready to fight Margit, actually. I'm gonna try to see if I can't close the tool down in between bosses so I'm not just, like, you know, keeping this giant tool thing up all the time. Yeah, they have this curved great club. Let me let me see. Let me see what my options are on like either side of it. Trying to see if I can't close down this tool without, um, like, restarting the game. I don't know if I can. Let me see. Without, nudge up, save files, edit stats. Uh, I don't know if I can, actually. I'll probably have to... Maybe I can just give myself the like all the items in advance. All right, let me see what the the options are on these clubs. So the curved great club looks like this. This is the curved club right here. It's just kind of dinky for Margaret though. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't need that many levels to wield this. I'll have I, I need like nine levels. I feel like I could get to level ten pretty easily to be able to wield this club how many runes is it for uh like it's not the exact club you know but it's pretty damn close how much is it for a level right now it's 673 runes Maybe what I should have done, maybe I should have given myself the, um, what is that rune that you start off with that gives you 3,000? I should have started off with the lands between rune as, like, my, my starting rune, because that actually would have, I, I wanted to just, like, start as wretch, you know, and just start with nothing, just to, to meme around or whatever. I might just give myself the lands between rune, just to, like, assume that I picked that at the beginning. Let me see. There's a few graveyards around here that I could get a few thousand runes, and I reckon I probably need about 10,000 runes to uh, make this happen. Oh, I also need Margaret's cloak. What's, what's the name of his robe? Fell Omen cloak? Okay. Oh, yeah, let's go. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Yo, Giga Chad cosplay. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Okay. So here's a here's a thought. I could possibly get the strength that I need by mixing the physic with the strength tier, right? That could definitely be a possible possibility. And then I also have enhanced charge attacks, right? So now if I two hand this axe and drink the physic, that gives me enough to wield it. So, so I don't have to level up. This is fine. This is perfectly fine right here. Um, here's what I think I want to do, though. Um, I need to think about all the Remembrance bosses real quick and, like, give myself the item so I can just close the tool and not have to open this again. So, let's think about all of the Remembrance bosses, right? So, I need Godric's Axe, obviously. Axe of Godric. Um, Renala. What, what staff does Renala use? It is the... It's that fucking staff you get in Kaelid, right? I forget what the name of the staff... No, do you get the staff from her or do you get it in Kaelid? I don't remember. I should actually probably just, like, look up all of these bosses so I can see, like, what they use. It's a remembrance weapon. What is it called? Let me see. I know Renala's full moon is a spell, but I'm not going to have the stats for that at all. Um, what is the name of that fucking thing? Carrion Regal Scepter? Okay. Alright, let me, let me just go to, like, this the Elden Ring wiki real quick so I can look up all their equipped stuff. I'm just going to give myself the stuff now. I just don't want to have to, like, keep going back into this menu so I can close it and it's not taking up screen real estate. Let's see. I'm going to give myself the Grafted Dragon as well. Since that's another one, that's one of Godric's uh, things. I think for um I think for the Red Wolf of Radigan, I'm just gonna cosplay as Blythe. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that's a good one, right? <laughs> I gotta cosplay as a doge, right? Could use Red Wolf spells. Yeah, I'm looking up the spells right now. To see exactly what, what the spells are called. I'm assuming that the wiki has information as to, like, what... Obviously, I can't do the bite attacks, but... I think glad magic glint blade is one of them. Um Glintstone Comet Shard is it looks like the other one. Okay. Okay. Look at her spells. I can't use any of her phase one spells, but I can probably use some kind of like force push thing to get it. Let me grab her phase two spells.
I know I'm not going to have the stats for Renala's full moon, but whatever. All right, that that looks fine. You doing Loretta and Melania? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll be doing Loretta and Melania most likely. Um, okay, so that pretty much covers Renala. Now I do need to go. I do need to go get the bell bearing as well because I can I can also copy her wolf summon too. If I if I really want to, you know. This way tarnished. May I apply on the witch? I'd heard Tantapon La Talk I thou art possessed call forth. Ah, I was entrusted by torrents. Tis a best summon them with it. Goodbye. Forgive my <laughs> uh, okay, so that covers Renala. Alright, let's look at Radon. <coughs> Give myself the lion great bow as well. And gravity arrows. Isn't that what they're called? Gravity arrows? Maybe they're not actually called gravity arrows. I don't know. Um, it looks like I can do crag blade. But I don't know. The thing is, I'm going to have to use his weapon, so... Oh, Radon Spears is what they're called. You're right. Uh, let me just give myself, like, 99. I could give myself Cragblade, but I'm going to be using his weapon, so... I'll give it to myself, but I'm probably not... Oh, I don't need 99 of that. Jeez. I don't think I can use Star Caller Cry. Let me see. Um, it's the default skill of the Star Scourge Greatsword, which that's what I'm going to be using. So, okay. Collapsing stars. All right, that should be good for Radon. Now, obviously, Rykard is a little weird because his spells in Phase 1, I'm not really going to be able to... I can use Rykard's Rancor. Taker's Flames. Uh, what is Taker's Flames? What is, does that come from the Blasphemous Blade? Yeah. Okay. Alright, Melania. We'll just get Melania out of the way real quick. So, Hand of Melania. Okay. I know Loretta has her War Sickle. She has some magic as well. Uh, what is her armor? What's Loretta's armor?
royal knight armor. Do you switch armor mid-fight? Um, uh, we'll see. I mean, technically the health bar is different, so I, I could probably go naked for phase two. I also need the tree sentinel set. Minute. I'm gonna need the dragon great claw. Uh, it's not the dragon tower shield. What's the um? What's the giant fucking shield that you get with the um, dragon great claw? What's the other? What's the shield that you get with that? Is it the dragon claw shield? Yeah, it is. Okay. She uses carrion phalanx. I think I gave myself carrion phalanx already. Let me see. Oh no, I guess not. Star shower and comet shard. Is it glintstone comet shard? I didn't give myself carrion failing, so let me grab that. Okay. Uh, all right, let me think here. All right, uh, I need Morgoth's Cursed Blade or whatever the hell that's called. I also need the Sacred Ritual Spear or whatever the... Or, no, what the fuck is it called? Mogwin sacred sacred spear. Can you get Moog's armor too? Malform dragon set. Oh, okay. Uh, it's drippy as hell. Nice. Uh, what's the name of that set? Lord of Blood's Robe. Okay. Gotcha. Alright. Um, okay. Uh, I also need the... I need... No, it's... What the hell is it? Ancestral Infant's Head for the Ancestral Spirit. Um, the Octopus Helmet. Okay, that works. That's pretty fair. All right. What else? Um... I know Astell has stuff too. I need to think about what he uses. Waves of darkness. I know he's you have like the wings of Astell. Okay. I think that's pretty good on the Astel stuff. Um, I believe Placidus Axe is Placidus Axe's Ruin and he has another option too. What's the other thing that he drops with his Remembrance? Dragon King's Crag Blade. Mm. 
Now, I may just use a variety of different Dragon Breaths on him. I haven't decided yet, to be completely honest. I'm still... I'm still thinking about that, to be completely honest. I may just, ju like, specifically use Dragon Magic on him. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give that some thought. Uh, for Malaketh, Obviously, we're gonna be using Malaketh's Black Blade, as well as... A variety... Of his armor stuff. Uh, we also need Gideon's stuff, which he has a, what is it? He's got like a mace. He's got the scepter. And then he's got like fucking crazy spells. Yeah, he got he has a fucking shitload. I know he's got like triple rings. Uh, he's got a fucking shit. He uses Comet Azure as well. I think he uses Glint Blade Phalanx. I think I already have most of the ones that he he adds a spell every time you defeat a remembrance boss. Yeah, I actually knew that. It's funny because when you do any percent, he just doesn't fucking do anything because he has no... He has, like, no knowledge of anything. There's actually, like, lore behind that, too. I guess he, um... I guess he spies on you, like, throughout your, your playthrough. Alright, um... Did you get all the blood flame spells? No. All right, let's see. Is there anything else? All right, I think Moog looks good. Melania looks good. I should, I should give my, oh yeah, Godfrey, that's right. Off the Elden Lord set. Blood Boon. Okay. All right. That's why his helmet's decorated with ears. Yeah. Um, okay. So I think. Mal All right. I don't think. Technically, I can give myself Scarlet Aonia, even though I'm probably not going to use that. Uh, Lich Dragon. Oh, yeah. He, he, oh, God. Fuck. What a... What? He uses, like, Lightning Stake and stuff, right? I think he uses... Uh, let's see. Let me just look up his spell list. He uses Death Lightning, yeah. He uses Ancient Dragon's Lightning Spear. He uses Fortisax's Lightning Spear. Death Lightning. And then obviously he has his like swipe attacks. Okay. All right, let me think here. Did I leave? Okay, Elden Beast, obviously. Let's see. So, Elden Stars. Can't use Wave of Gold, apparently, but it is the Ash of War on the Sacred Relic Sword, so I could use that.
the Golden Order Greatsword as well? Okay. I need Merica's hammer as well. All right, so let's count it off. We've got uh, we've got Margit covered. We've got Godric. I've got. Just about everything I need for Red Wolf of Radigan. I've got Renala covered. Uh, oh, I need to give myself a bunch of uh, larval tiers as well. I'm going to give myself like 30. Just so I don't have to farm them. Sanguine Noble Waste Cloth. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Oh, I don't need 30 of those, but okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, so I got Margaret covered. Godric, there's not really a good way to cosplay Godric because he's, like, grafted, right? I, I'll probably just go in naked for that fight. I'm going to cosplay as Blythe for Red Wolf. Uh, oh, I need Renala's armor. Okay. Um, we got Radon. We got Rykard. I need to get the Godskin stuff. Okay. And I know the Godskins also have like a few spells as well. Like Black Flame spells. So that should cover Godskin pretty well. I got Rykar done. I got Astel. I got... Um... Oh, what's his face? Fucking... The... Ancestral Spirit. We got Melania. We got Moog. We got Morgoth. Uh, fire giant. Hmm. So giant's flame take the flame of the fell god. Burn O Flame. That looks pretty good. The Aristocrat Headband. Looks a bit like Godric. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it does look a little bit like it. Grab the full set, too, just... For the memes. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, 
The antler headband? Oh, I didn't even know that they had a fucking antler headband. Uh, wait. I don't see the antler headband. Oh, the great, the great horn headband? Shining horn? Oh, definitely the shining horn headband, headband that's for sure. Okay. Um... Okay. Did we get them all? Oh, I need the stomps. What are what are uh, what are Godfrey's stomps that he does? Oh, that's the Axe of Godfrey skill. Uh, Hora Lu. Hora Lu's Earthshaker. Okay. Good. Okay. So we got... Margit, well, we got Godric, we got Renala, we got Radon, we got Rykard, we got Ancestral Spirit, we got Estelle, Melania, Moog, Fire Giant, Malaketh, Horalu. Uh, Placidus Axe, we're going to have to think on. I don't know what kind of dragon magic I'm going to need for that, you know? I feel like <sighs> Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike could be good. I'm just gonna give myself a bunch of dragon hearts just and, and then I'll just like go to the cathedral and buy them so I can actually like control the dragon stuff. Is there a helmet that makes me look like a dragon? <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about the carrion knight. That's not a boss. I'm, I'm, this run is all about the bosses. Motors yeah, oh yeah, for sure. That's the whole point of this build, though, is that can I, can I like, quote-unquote, 1v1 the boss? Right? Using their own shit. I think I got them all, right? Can't buy the incants without beating the dragons. Yeah, that, that's fine. We'll figure it out. I can get, like, the basic ones, like the, the claw slash and stuff like that. I'm not gonna... I'm probably not gonna use the upgraded ones anyway because they're way too expensive on FP. Alright, let's see. Alright, so I got... That, I got that. Rock Goddess, Blood Lord. I got Lich Dragon. Yeah, I think I got them all. Yeah, Godric, I, I don't know that his robes are like... I don't think I can get any kind of a robe that's going to look like it. I might just put on the aristocrat armor just to try to look like Godric. I 
don't need 45 of those, but okay. I just gave myself way more of that than I needed. The Drake Knight set for the Dragon Wings. Yeah, maybe something like that. All right, let's see. Like, I'll probably go get most of the talismans myself. Did I get Meteorite of Estelle? I think I did. Yeah, I did. I don't know. There, I'm not going to really be able to cosplay as Estelle very much. I could maybe give myself the... Um, like, the skull set. And just wear, like, the helmet. You know, like, that might be... That might be the closest thing I could get. The Royal Remains set. That's probably the closest thing I could get... ...to that. But, I mean, it's not gonna be... Cosplaying as a comic, uh, cosmic anal bead is easier said than done. Yeah. Do you get the baby rattle? Um, I don't know what the baby rattle is. Is it actually called a baby rattle? No, it's not. Can you use the falling star beast jaw against Estelle? No, I'm probably going to use either the wing of Estelle or the weapon that you traded in for the remembrance. Bastard stars. I can't really cosplay Rykard either, because he's just a fucking snake man. So I'll probably do that naked too. This just calls it the baby rattle. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's probably the flail. Yeah, I got that. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about Estelle. Uh, okay. And I've got that. I got Moog. Lich Dragon. I'm just going to have to use some kind of draconic looking set. Fire Giant, I'm just going to go in naked because he's basically naked too. I'm pretty sure he just has a loincloth, right? Like, that's like what he... <laughs> I'm not going to be able to cosplay every single one accurately, but... I'll, I'll go give myself a giant red beard. Could get the Fire Monk set. Yeah, the Fire Monk set could be something. And he basically just walks around with a fucking loincloth on anyway. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just change my hair color to red for the fight. <laughs> 
Or if Godric grafted a bunch of extra dicks. <laughs> Maybe. I wouldn't put it past him. Did I give myself the Dragon King's Crag Blade? I don't remember. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Um. Oops. I feel like I've pretty well got everything that I want. I'm feeling pretty good. I think this is a pretty good setup. So let me first off go to the Castle Word Tunnel, and then I'll quit out so I can turn this tool off. Anything else I can probably get elsewhere. Um, Record has a human form. I thought about maybe equipping his like lady friends set. That could be an option. I forget what her name is, though. Tanith, yeah. I think you can get her armor. It's the consort set, right? Yeah, I've seen the portrait. I know what it looks like. I, I just don't think that there's any armor that's gonna... That's gonna look like that. I don't think there's any armor in the game that looks like what he's wearing. It's like a robe with like a bunch of medallions like strung around it. And I could probably use the Elden Lord crown to cosplay the crown part. But I don't think his robe is going to be replicatable or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just probably do the consort set. It's fine. And I, I'll probably just do Elden Beast naked. So, all right. I think, I think we've got everything we need. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just exit the game real quick just so I can get this tool to shut down because I don't think I can actually close this tool from in the game, so I have to restart the game. Uh, you need the veteran set and all of Commander Nial shit. Yeah, okay, that's true. That is true. Let me grab that real quick. I don't know if I need the standard, but I'll take it anyway. I don't actually know if he runs around with those. Okay. Um, cool. Let's see. So, I think that covers all of the bosses. What's the plan for Fia's champs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't forget about Fia's champions. Well, okay, so in multiple boss situations, I can only pick one. I'll probably go with Roger. So let me just grab Roger's set.
What is the name of his set? The Spellblade, right? Okay, um... I actually don't know what spells he teaches. Let's see, or like what spells he uses. We're gonna find out. I know it's a lot of glintstone shit. Glintstone, pebble... Uh, Carrion Greatsword. And Spinning Weapon. Yeah, I mean, I'm just cheating it in because it's... The rule is that I'm allowed to cheat stuff in. For the purpose of cosplaying whatever I'm fighting, so... Spinning Weapon's on the staff. Uh, what staff is it that he uses? I didn't realize that he used a staff. Or is that Ronala's staff? He, he doesn't use the same staff as Ronala, though, does he? That's fine. Uh, I think we'll just stick with what we have here. Um, I do need to deal with the gargoyles, though, too. And... They do quite a bit of bullshit. Let me see here. The Gargoyle's Greatsword and the Gargoyle's Twin Blade. That's what the, the, the Twin Gargoyle's in No Crown Drop anyway. I think that's all the bosses in my route. If I really need to open this up again, then I will. But I think we've got just about everything for this cosplay run. I feel I feel like I've got everything now. Yeah, I don't think so either. I'll just for any situation, uh, he uses the astrologer staff. Okay, all right. Well, I give myself a staff real quick, and then that's it. I think I'm I think I'm good after that. Okay, for real this time. I thought I installed the no logo mod already. Guess not. Uh, let me get this going again. Without the tool this time. <laughs> but just one more thing. Yeah, no! How will you handle the most fearsome boss of them all? The Mimic tier? We're going in naked, dude. <laughs> I'll do that one fists only. How about that? 
Naked and fists only. All right, I think we're ready. I'm gonna probably have to move pretty quick here because I don't know if this fucking I don't know if this uh this club is gonna work long enough with my physic. Let me just let me just see real quick. actually going pretty okay. Uh, this is actually going pretty okay. Um, it seems like the physic actually lasts for a while, so I think as long as I kill him at about the pace that I did, he actually builds up stagger with this club really fucking fast. <laughs> that actually really wasn't that bad, honestly. Lasts for three minutes? Oh, that's good. That's really good. Oh, the fucking spear, man. That was horse shit. Yeah, this fight's gonna be tough because I'm just like... I'm just super low on fucking... health at the moment. Like, I, I'll be able to pump vigor after I've met the minimum stat requirements for stuff. That's like the trade-off with this build is that like I can't level my stats. Like I'm, I'm not allowed to over level my stats. Yeah, so the the problem is this weapon is slow as fuck, man. I gotta get better at the whole like timing of using a slow weapon. I'm actually very used to using fast weapons. I'm also gonna drink this before I go in, because if this lasts three minutes, then I don't think we're gonna have too much of a problem. Oh, come on, dude. Half of these attacks, I don't even fucking remember, man. I know about the- I know about the one that he kind of trolls with. Dex is best. Well, I'm region locked, so I can't grab Dex yet. Yo, what up, Camille?
I'm gonna see if I can't punish this. Nope. Foolish ambitions to rest. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. What what's the Ash of War on this? I I feel like I shouldn't allow myself to use the Ash of War. Because it's uh it's not really relevant to the weapon. What is the, what is the Ash of War? Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna use that Ash of War. That's probably super cracked. Hello. Forget to see what hand. It seems torrent. Whereas I'm here is bike. Yeah, I'm not gonna use this Ash of War. I'm not technically gonna count going to the round table as breaking the region lock, but yeah, I know it's a buff, but even still, like, he doesn't get the buff, so I don't want to grab up. I don't, I don't want to do buffs for the Ash of War, unless it's, like, part of the weapon art for for whatever weapon comes from the uh, boss. These are cheesy aspects. Well, I mean, it's this is, like, a cosplay run, so I don't want to, I don't want to use... I'm already kind of stretching it by not using his exact weapon on this fight because you can't use his little cane thing. You only get to use the actual sword itself. He's trolling. I got way more damage last time. Ah! <laughs> Jeez. <coughs> yeah, I do think this is going to be one of the hardest fights, though, just because of the... Uh... Because of the fact that this weapon's super slow. I'm literally level one. And I'm region locked. So I can't just like go level up a bunch. Trolling, dude. Oh, dude, that's so fucked, man. He literally did that attack three times in a row. What the fuck, man? Ugh. I feel like I did a lot better when I was just, like, mad fucking aggressive. I feel like the aggro strap might actually be the play.
Dude, he goes, he breaks posture so fast though. That's the thing that's nice. It's like just out of range. Here we go. Yeah, this might be it right here, dudes. Get him! Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> What's fucking gold, old? Cower in fear of the night. The hands of the fell angel. We're off to a great start, chat. You there? I. It's time. The gods don't know about you, Breach. Well, but of course. Alright. Oh my god, the freaking frame stutters, man. Jesus Christ. Well, I, obviously I need to level up because this has gone f swimmingly so far. Um, so obviously we're going to go Godric's Axe. We're going to go Aristocrat Headband. I'm going to see if maybe there's a... Uh... That's probably the closest Godric cosplay that I could do. What do you guys think? <laughs> I figure just like some heavy robes and, you know, that's probably good. Actually, I don't think he has boots on. I think he's like barefoot. There we go. That's my, here's my, my Godric cosplay. Yeah, plus it's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, super ugly. Oh my God. The stats on this though. Holy shit. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a challenge to get the stats for this, but... Let's see here. If I dual wield this, I mean, I could use the grafted dragon technically because it's the same health bar. That te that's got a lot of stats too, though. Need the dragon too. Yeah. Yeah, just for the cosplay. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, there, there's the cosplay, guys. Except this dragon is far less impressive on my hand than it is on his. But you know what? It's fine. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. Okay. All right, how do I get the fucking stats for this shit, dude? 34 strength. All right, it, so this gives me 10 strength, right? Which would mean that I would get 30... If I dual wield this, I'm going to get 30 strength. So. I'm going to need some decks, I think. Let me see. I need 22 decks. Twenty-two. That would give me thirty-three. Right, I need one more strength. Is there a way to even do this challenge without farming for stats? Um, yeah. I mean, we can. We'll get it figured out. We'll get it figured out. Don't even worry about it. Uh, what about the source seal? Well, I'm region locked, so I can't get the source seal yet. I I, mean, I am adding the region lock to this challenge because I feel like this would be way too easy if I could just get like. 10 flasks at plus 10 before even starting the challenge.
You can get the one, can't you, at the Ever Jail? Uh, which Ever Jail is that one at? Let's see, Radigan Scar Seal? The Weeping Ever Jail? Um, yeah. I could. Um, I I don't know about this ancient hero though. We got We would have to cosplay him, if we were gonna kill him. What does he What does he have? Zamor Ice Storm. Yeah, I mean, getting a Stone Sword key is nothing. Now, I mean, let me just see if I can get the stats first. This might be. This might actually be simpler than you guys think. Um, 34 strength. I mean, I pretty much have 34 strength right here with the, with the flask. Um, for dex, I would just need... Oh, shit. Uh, let me see. Level up. Can I get 22 dex? I'm not quite at 22 dex yet. But I think we could definitely get there. I mean, I just need two more levels. And I could easily get those two levels from the graveyard that is over here. Near third church. There might be enough runes, runes in this thing for two levels. I actually think Godric's axe is going to melt himself pretty fast. That I may not even need the grafted dragon. So I'm probably not going to bother too much with the grafted dragon. Um, shit. The graveyard is around here somewhere. Here it is. Thing, but it's fine. All right, let me go to uh, the round table just so I can sell the runes instead of. I'm probably gonna need like three thousand runes, roughly. You're no mad lad, you. That should be enough. This should get us to be able to use Godric's axe, I think. We're good. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to actually use the Grafted Dragon. But, I mean, you know, we're chill. We've got cosplay going, you know. And when I put the Physic on, I should definitely be able to two-hand this. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Oh! Got trolled.
I'm gonna grab the grace over here just to... Yeah, I mean, this whole Godric scenario in and of itself is like super fucking troll. Good news is I think I'll probably be able to cheese this part a little bit by coming up here. Should do okay got everything we need here hopefully this will be a pretty clean kill it's gonna be kind of the same thing here where we just drink the physic and use the flask I guess he does kind of have shoes on. Try the skill. Uh, I don't think it actually does much of anything. Smash the axe, unleashing two shockwaves, follow up with an additional to produce a third. I guess he technically does have, like, shoes on. I didn't think he did. Yeah, it doesn't do shit. <laughs> that was underwhelming, yeah. Actually gonna move the physic. Yeah, this one's gonna be a bit tricky, I think.
Obviously, if I could upgrade the weapons, this challenge run would be a lot easier, I think, but... That's, that's where the real challenge comes in, is the fact that I can't even upgrade the weapons. Dude, it sucks that you can't roll that, man. That's definitely tough. jump later funny enough i actually don't have uh, a ton of experience with this boss fighting him normally because in the speed run that i used to do a year ago we just like skipped him i mean we killed him but he was ai broken so i actually don't have a ton of experience That ah, was fucked, bud. Oh, man. Wow, I got wrecked so bad my game crashed. Sheesh, dude. Sheesh. God damn. It's all right. We got this. Honestly, I don't think this fight's that bad. I think it's just going to be more of a test of patience. Thing is, I also can't really spend three minutes on the boss, though, at the mercy of this physic. Like, I got to move pretty fast. It's just so easy for me to get wrecked. I mean, I could maybe sink the rest of the runes that I have into leveling vigor. I could do that. How many, uh... I could maybe get two levels with these. Let's see. 32... 's gonna be close I don't think I'm getting two levels though yeah I need like 400 more um hmm let me do something real quick 
There's actually, you know what? I have another. I have a grace that's closer than this, I think. There's a graveyard over here at a Gill Lake South, if I remember right. I think it's over here. If I'm not mistaken. Thought it was over here. Yeah. Thinking just like a couple levels in Vigor is probably ideal. Maybe just that, like, a couple extra points of health. Maybe it'll help. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. gonna be able to get out of there I feel like that damage is actually like pretty okay don't have any talismans I, I have one I have the charge attack talisman I I'm definitely thinking about getting another one though Yeah, the jump attack talisman, yeah.
Oh, come on, dude. I was so fucking through that, man. time my fucking my fucking weapon is like a inefficient now I'm gonna see if I can finish him though no no so I'm doing I'm doing pretty well it's fun with them um, yeah, I just got to be a little faster. I I missed a few opportunities at the beginning of the fight. I could definitely kill him within three minutes, though. I'm actually gonna drink like in here, like about right here. Oh, I thought I was out of that. No, I haven't tried Wild Hearts yet. I pretty much just played Elden Ring this week. and amber increases vigor could get it from a merchant yeah that's definitely an option i mean i don't think i really need a talisman to kill this guy just need a little bit like I, I need to be patient enough but not too patient there's like a fine line of what i need Oh! Dude, this, <laughs> these fucking things use so much stamina, dude. <coughs> <coughs> they use so much stamina.
that he did five attacks there. Yeah, I know, I can hit R1, but it's a stamina problem. Sometimes I don't have enough stamina to actually, like, do the R1 and get the regen before the repost. Didn't get the heal off in time. Yep, I'm unfit even to graft, you guys. God damn. God I am. Alright. Alright again. I can definitely do this. I just gotta like get the muscle memory back. God damn, dude. I got cued. He's insulting himself. Yeah, yeah that's true. Alert and fit even to graft. I guess technically he has... Uh, does he use gloves? I don't know if he uses gloves. I could potentially benefit from the extra armor. No, he doesn't really use gloves. God damn it, dude. I fucking rolled too early. I'm just fucking dumb. Dude. I'm just being fucking dumb at this point, then. I don't think the issue is, like, the actual speed of my attacks, though. I actually think it's just the fact that my damage is shit. <clears throat> Silent Mute, what's up, buddy? Thank you for the 11 months, by the way. Ah, the range, dude. Wasting so much time right here. Really 
broken open. Yeah. You can maybe put some VAM braces on. I don't think it's gonna give me any fucking armor rating, but. Look, this is the closest thing I have to a cosplay. Alright, what do I got? I got some like basic fucking wrist guards here. No, I don't really have anything, honestly. <laughs> a lot of nothing for the most part. Yeah, it's going pretty well, Silent Me. We're just uh, working on a little challenge run here. I haven't done a challenge run of Elden Ring in a while, so. that pretty easily actually. Ah, that one, yeah, that one, yep, this guy's all fucked up looking, man, great Godfrey, I definitely can do this fight, though, like, I'm actually not that worried about it, I think the key is to have a pretty quick phase one, That one sucks. That one sucks, man. Goddamn. I tell you what, we're getting better though. That's that's the key. Okay, we're getting better. Oh, you fucker. Alright. Spinning blade later? Uh, maybe crazy. 
Possibly against Renala. That could be an option. But thank you for the eight months. I appreciate that. We're doing a cosplay run. So I have to... I have to use the boss's stuff and cosplay them as All best right. as I can. And Skinny Noodles! Thank you for the six months. Get me, Mr. Frame Stutter. That damage at the beginning of phase one is actually really fucking good. Dude, the, the R2, man, the R2 is so fucking slow, dude. Even when you don't charge it, it's fucking brutal, dude. Absolutely fucking brutal, man. Oh, never mind. That was close. Part of the game, dude. Three. 
Ugh. So I, I think the dragon, when he does the grafted dragon, I'm pretty sure that his hitbox on that arm is actually bigger than it is in phase one. I'm pretty sure. Again, I actually don't have that much experience with this boss, so... Even though he's like a very early game boss. I got caught in the behind him when he dragged the axe up, dude. Fuck, dude. God damn. That's rough, man. That's rough. Bow before me. timing dude the timing is rough man dude my damage is really not that bad though like it, it's the combination of being slow and having like mediocre damage i think is really the problem here like if this thing was like a plus four you know i don't think we'd have anywhere near the problems that we have right now I got queued again. Queued again, dog. Uh, well, part of the challenge is that I'm not upgrading any of the weapons either, Dave. So that's that's going to make this challenge run quite a bit more challenging, I think. 
Okay. It's unupgraded weapons. Dude, every time I feel like I'm out of the range and I just... I, I just literally don't roll because I don't think that I'm out of range, but I'm very out of range. I'm very much so. Not in the range, chief. the fucking This is fucking brutal. Honestly, this challenge run I actually feel like wouldn't normally be that challenging if I hadn't played the game. You know, if it wasn't for the fact that I haven't played the game in nine months, I don't feel like this challenge would be as bad. I feel like it's a good challenge run to get me back into the game, though. That one, that one trips me up whenever I try to go for the, uh, the double R2. Unfortunately, it just doesn't quite work out my way. Sag. I mean, honestly, like I said, it's, it's almost completely to do with the fact that I just don't really do well with heavy, like, slow-ass fucking weapons. Can't always get the L1 or the R1 there. Gets me every time, you guys. 
Every time, chat. That's a really nice opener to base too, though, right there. Get him! Let's go, dude! Of all nice. Golden. Man, that fight was, uh... That was a little intense. Fucking got him, dude. We fucking got him, dude. And we got the great rune, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> dude. Got the extra stats from the great rune, dude. We get to go to Liurnia now. Oh, shit. That felt good. Stood up out of my chair. Let's fucking go, dude. Yo, back to Giga Chad. We're back to the Giga Mimic tier. Okay. And we're going to do it all over again. <laughs> All right, we need to start pumping in for this next part, though, you guys. <clears throat> All right, how much? How many levels do I get? Ten? Okay. All right, that's not bad. Fuck, man, I need a lot of it, though. <clears throat> All right, hold on. Furinala stuff. Well, okay, technically, I guess we're doing the wolf first, but I, I need to start preparing for Renala because I'm going to have to respec. So let me just see what my options are for Renala's uh, situation because like obviously like I don't know if I'm going to be able to wield her staff because the stat requirements are just absolutely fucked like I need 60 int to wield the regal scepter um now it's not to say that there aren't options available but Something's telling me that maybe I'm going to have to just settle for the Astrologer Staff as my actual weapon, but just equip the Staff for the Flare. You know what I'm saying? Like we're going to cosplay it, right? So, like, we're going to we're gonna rock that. But I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to throw the Astrologer Staff in the left hand so that I can actually, like, cast the spells. Because, yeah, I, I can't do 40 levels. Like, I'm not going to be able to level up 40 times, you know what I'm saying? Now, that said, I am going to need to... Yeah, like, I, with the God Recruit and the Int tier, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be able to get some stuff done with that, but yeah, I mean... Uh, actually, I already, I already got the grace for this. Let me just... So... Let's go activate the Great Rune first, though, because I think that's a good starting point. That's going to give me a shitload of vigor. We're going to definitely need a couple of talismans to set this up as well. These guys, like, really make me think about, um, Yorm. Yeah, I, so the rules of this run is that I'm actually allowed to give myself the items without, like, killing the boss or anything like that. Oh, shit! <gasps> My 40,000 runes. Oh, no. 
Oh no. I really can't afford to lose these runes, dude. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this run's gonna be null and fucking void if I lose the 40k, dude. <laughs> oh fuck, man. Oh god. That was like a... What? That's a lot of fucking bullshit, man. I think we're good. Oh. Guys, I was fucking scared, dude. I was fucking scared, dude. I, was, I, thought, I thought it was over. That was over, man. I should have raided you years ago, Chris. Yeah, that was some fucking horseshit, man. Yo, Neil, don't thank for the raid, dude. Appreciate you, Chief. Welcome in, y'all. My name is Hazeblade. We're doing a little challenge run right now. We're rocking the M Mimic Chad build, meaning that uh, we can only kill bosses with their stuff. We're cosplaying as each boss. And uh, we are we are dressed as a mimic tier slash Giga Chad. Good old time with that right now, fam. So yeah, we're activating Godric's Great Rune. Yeah, this run is also region locked too, so... I think it's making it quite a bit more challenging. Because I don't know how in the fuck I'm going to get... 60. Okay, so... There's maybe another option that we could possibly explore where we maybe go do Radon next since we'd get more runes from him. And on top of that, we need int for his sword anyway. That it like like doing Radon is not a bad idea here, you guys. Like now we would have to do the the Radon skip, but you know, like uh no, this is regular new game. So before we pick where we're going to go, before we pick Liurnia or Kaled, we, we really got to think about this for a second. Because if we do Kaled, we have to kill Radon, right? Before we can leave, because it's region lock, right? So as a result, um, you know, there's potentially a very big problem on our hands. Like we could do the Radon, we could do the Radon like skip. I wouldn't consider that a major glitch. I would consider that just to be parkour. Um, but that fight would give us, I think, like a hundred k runes or something like that. Like we could do a lot with those runes. And all I'm saying is that if we had Radon's swords, right? And we'd be we'd be rocking Radon's armor, right? All I'm saying is that there's a possibility that we could be better off for Renala.
I think I want to get the jump talisman. Which one is that? Let's see. Uh, claw talisman. Stormvale Castle and a watchtower. Yeah, I feel like I could probably get pretty damn close if I killed Radon next. I feel like I could get pretty goddamn close to being able to use the staff. Now, that said, I'm only allowed to level the minimum, like, scaling requirements for the weapon that I'm using. So, if I'm using Star Surge Greatsword, I guess technically... I wouldn't be allowed to level int past 15. I may have to revise that rule, though, on the fly, because I don't know that that's going to be... I don't know if this run's going to be possible if I'm doing region lock and I can't do that fucking thing. But... But... Um... The thing is, so I can get, what, 10 levels? Is that what we said? Yeah. So I, I feel like ideally we would do 5 int just to have, like, the bare minimum, right? And for his swords, we need 38 strength. The only problem is I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill Radon in 3 minutes, man. Like, that's... That's the part that's going to be super fucking scuffed, man. Like, I legit don't know if I'm going to be able to, to kill him in that amount of time. So. Yeah, we do have a great rune, so that would be an extra five stats. And I am allowed to get... No, okay, so here's what we could do. We could get the source seal. We could get the source seal, which would give me way more stats. Okay, all right. Hear me out. We need to go to Stormvale Castle. I'm going to have to put a couple points into strength, I think, for this. Trying to think about how many, because we'd get five from the Great Rune, and then we'd get nine. That puts me at... What, hold on. Five from the, 10 from the flask, five from the great rune, that puts me at 28, plus the two hand puts me at, I'm probably going to need to put these points into strength instead of vigor, because I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to rely on the three minutes of, yeah, the jar arsenal talisman. Yeah, I could get the Jar Arsenal Talisman. It's going to be a pain in the fucking ass killing those fucking invaders, though. That's the problem. Where's the Strength Talisman? It's in Caleb. No, it's not in Caleb. It's in... Where the fuck is it, actually? I don't know. Uh, I can find out. Star Scourge Heirloom. Yeah, it is in Caleb, I think. In Fort Gale, yeah. Lure them off the cliff. Okay, that's that's not a bad option. Now, keep in mind, though, chat. Keep in mind. I don't think we have more than two talisman slots right now. I don't think she gives me the talisman slot until after Godfrey, right? Let me see. Or I need two great runes, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't I can't get the third talisman slot yet either. That's the other problem. How close would Source Seal and Strength Talisman get me? Um so Source Seal and Strength that'd get me 10, so that'd put me at 23. Plus the Great Room would put me at 28. And if I two-handed his weapon, that'd put me at that put me like way over. I need 38, which would mean that I would have to have at a bare minimum 26 strength, I think. So the great rune and both of those would be enough, but the problem is I don't have any uh 
go source seal and jump attack and with the great rune and the extra endurance levels well yeah so that's it yeah that's true um i do need to think about radon's armor because that shit is fucking heavier heavier than shit man um let's see Yeah, like in this case, I'm heavy equip load and yeah, and the jump attack would give me a little extra endurance. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to uh, the shack and get the seed. Yeah, the swords are super fucking heavy, man. Now, I mean, I could do Radon Great Bow. Like, that's an option, maybe. I don't know how resistant he would be to gravity magic since it's, you know, his shit. I could maybe try to kill Radon with the Great Bow. That could be like an alternative since since that could be part of his thing. Like I have the stats. I have the stats that I could definitely use the bow. 22 strength. Did you give it enough? Did you give the little that I love the... Um, okay. I guess she's not gonna do anything yet. Yeah, I mean, I, I could do Radon with the bow instead. Um, I'd have to use Radon's spears, though. And I don't know if 30 is enough, to be honest. Like, I, I have no idea. There's, there's definitely some th decision making that we got to do here. I I do think Radon is better than Renala right now, for sure. I just feel like 38 strength is so much. It's so much. All right, I'm, I'm going to commit. I'm going to commit to Kaled. And I think the best way of going into Kaled... is probably gonna be from the third church. I just, I, to be completely honest, I just literally don't fucking trust myself going into Celia Tunnel. There's also a golden seed over here. This is this enough for another flask? Yeah. Yeah, this will give me my Dectus Medallion, too. And I know Kaled is just such a... Could kill the dragon? The problem... I mean, I guess technically the dragon's not a boss, right? I guess we wouldn't technically count the dragon as a boss, so I guess in the scope of the challenge run is that I don't technically have to cosplay the dragon. That could that could actually be pretty huge, to be honest. You know what I need to do while I'm here? I need to grab this memory slot so that I can have more spells for whenever I have to cosplay spellcasters. Also, this graveyard over here has a shitload of runes. Yeah, Grail's not a boss, so I don't technically have to cosplay him. And you know what else I should do, too, is I should grab the gold foot so that I can get 100k runes from killing him. Go 
The only problem is that I don't have a bleed weapon right now. I would have to make some bleed grease. Which is, that's not a problem. To try and make the bleed grease, but... Go do the invasion. Yeah, I guess we could get Reduvia. Yeah, that's that's definitely an option. I think the stat requirements on that are actually pretty low, too. Mimic Chad. Will it with starting stats? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good idea, honestly. Oh shit, I forgot about this guy. Oh fuck, get out of there, dude. Get out of there, my dude. Ooh, that was close. That was close, you guys. Uh, I forgot to go to uh, Stormvale Castle and grab that uh, jump talisman. I need to go do that soon. Once uh, with region lock, once you um, with region lock, once you defeat the boss in that region, you can go back to that region whenever. So I'm not breaking any rules. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to think about how I want to do Redon. I mean, I could do bow only. The thing is, if I do the bow, I save myself on a lot of stats. Like, a lot of stat problems get solved. By me doing the... Fucking bow strat. Because I'm not just, like, throwing away a, a, a shitload of stats. I, I kind of... Before I spend these 25k runes, though, I kind of want to see how the stat allocation is going to shake down here. I, I am going to do a quit out here because I need to get out of combat. He's fun with the bow and free arrows and you can stay on your horse. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking, is that it could actually be... I just don't know if 30 arrows is going to be enough, like, plus whatever's in the... Plus whatever's in the boss arena. I don't know if it's going to be enough. I mean, it probably will be, but... Honestly, the bow is probably a good play. I mean, I, 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 I couldn't see too many scenarios where it's not. Are there really hundreds in there? God damn, okay. In that case, we might be fine. I'm going to grab the golden foot over here for Grail. And we're going to go grab Reduvia. We're not subject to the cosplays. Oh, that's right. I was like, wait a second. We don't have to cosplay trash mobs, so... 
Dude, this spirit spring is huge. Holy shit, man. Can you get on this building? I, I, I figured you'd be able to get on the building with it. Alright. Um, yeah, no, so... Let's actually go to the church real quick. Yeah, the only guys that I have to cosplay are the bosses. So... I need to buy the crafting kit. I am caught. Uh, I'm not gonna need pots for stuff. I'm just gonna need the crafting kit. Goodbye. All right, I have to take a quick break. Uh, real fast, I'll be right back.
Okay, chat, I'm back. Alright, let me grab Reduvia. Um, let's see. I, I also have to buy... I have to buy the recipe for the the bleed shit too. Um let me do this. Oh, getting fucking frame stutters again. Cool. Um let's go to the shack. Ah, uh, sorry, my bad. stream preview back up here. Hold on. There we go. Let's see here. Uh, there's got to be a spot where I can drop down somewhere. Already grabbed strength here. I need this right here. Egg. Hold on. Ah, Hold on. I don't remember exactly which part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Hold up. I think I can actually go this way, technically. This part of Limgrave is always a little confusing for me. This is before the bridge, okay. Hello? Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. I think the bleed grease recipe is sold from this guy. Just go to the Church of Ella to get over towards where Reduvia is. And I honestly don't care what weapon I use. I'll just use Roger's weapon to get this weapon. Actually, no, I'll, I'll use my club since that's like technically my starting weapon. this way.
Well, good news I got a teammate on this one. <laughs> Free of charge. Duvia, that should get me to a decent enough spot. Uh, I need 13 arcane. I can probably just leverage a rune arc to get that. I might come back for patches later. We'll see. Okay. Um... I think I can buy a rune arc. Uh, sword seal on. Uh, do I get arcane from the sword seal? Let's see. No, I don't get arcane from the sword seal. I'm going to have to buy a rune arc. A little, little pricey, but it is what it is. Let's get out of here. Well, do you still get blood loss buildup, though, if you don't have the stats? I guess that's actually a good question. I think you can still bleed, even if it's not... I'm not sure you can still bleed, even if you don't have the stats. Let's see. Yeah, you can. So in that case, I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't need to waste. I don't need to waste anything for the purposes of. Santa, thank you. Yeah, I was I was really happy with how we did it, Rivals. Dist was a really good coach, too. Like, I haven't touched this game in nine months, and he was able to get me and Trey both at, like, a really good spot. With just a couple days of work. playing nine months for real y'all went pro yeah i mean trey's a pro speedrunner too so you know obviously he doesn't have any experience with elden ring but i think it was actually pretty huge that he was able to like put it all together that quick though i mean you would have never been able to tell that trey had never speed ran elden ring before though like if you were watching his stream he did such a good job like honestly like i i thought my performance was all right i was talking to my fiance about it actually i was like you know 
I thought I did pretty well. Like, I, I did as well as you would expect for somebody that hasn't touched the game in nine months. But Trey just, like, absolutely fucking killed it. He did such a good job. Like, he is not... He has, he has no experience. Yeah, yeah, crazy. So, actually... Funny enough about Trey, if you don't know him that well, he actually used to be a, like, internationally, um, like, competing StarCraft player. So he's actually got, like, obviously not Elden Ring PvP experience, but he has a lot of PvP experience under his belt through StarCraft. He used to compete in like world world championship shit in StarCraft. Yo, StarCraft now it made sense, yeah. I was asking him during the PvP, I was like, is this is this bringing back any like Super fucking clutch nervous feelings of uh, playing StarCraft, StarCraft, and he was like, uh, yeah, actually. Should get a lot of runes for this. Should be 90 something thousand. Good. All right, well, this is good because we actually can like do some stuff with this now. So I'm thinking talisman wise, you know, if we, if we go with the bow... You know, we have the strength to be able to wield this bow with the sword seal equipped. Now, I don't know if the axe talisman works with, like, the bow, because the bow is, like, by default, it's a charge attack. I don't think it works with the bow. Um... <clears throat> So I would think that I'd probably need another, like, I, I do think it's probably worthwhile to go and get the, the equip load. But honestly, like, I don't even think we'll really need the equip load because we're going to be on horseback. Right? So we're not going to have to worry about fat rolling while we're on horseback. So we could definitely get the jar, but I also kind of feel... We can't get the jar, actually. <clears throat> we actually can't get the jar, because we have to go to the underground for that, and that's a different region. So that's not going to work. We can't do that. <clears throat> Oh, if you're talking, oh, you're talking about killing Alexander, yeah. Um, yeah, we could, we could kill Alexander. I think that that's a, a, a decent choice. I think what I'm gonna probably have to do with these runes, because here's the thing, I can't, I can't put points into intelligence unless I am, like, part of the rules are that I'm not allowed to level up like whatever weapon okay so technically i can circumvent that by using the bow though so basically the rule is that i'm not allowed to upgrade my my weapon for the boss that i'm killing i'm not allowed to upgrade like useful stats 
past their base value. So like in this case, I'm not allowed to go past 22 strength. Now, obviously I'm at more than 18 decks, but I don't have any control over that because I can't um, respec right now, right? So um, like we're just gonna have to deal with that as it is, but I'm pretty sure my decks by itself right now is like 22. So and until we respec, I'm not gonna try to be too harsh with myself on that rule, but um, I can't put new levels into anything that's over the, the base value for the stats. So the way I'm looking at it right now is I feel like the levels, I should probably go into intelligence because I know that I'm gonna need that intelligence for later. So I feel like going 33 intelligence is probably the play. Because I'm gonna, I need what for the staff? I need what, 60 technically? And I still don't even know if I'm gonna fucking get to 60 at this point. So, the way it is right now, I'm at 33 int. I'll probably get another 10 or so levels with Radon. Um. I'll probably get like 10 or so levels from Radon. I'll be like 40 something. So I'm gonna need a way to get another like massive chunk of runes. Is the hat boost in? Yeah, it does a little. I think I get like three points maybe. Let me see. Yeah, I get three. So I mean, not bad. That'd be 36. So I could probably get it to like 51 maybe. Yeah, okay. I mean, I think we'll be there with the Physic. I think we'll have enough with the Physic. The problem is she's going to be hella resistant to damage, so I don't know if I'll be able to fucking kill her in three minutes. Let's go kill Alexander. I might be able to get up there from Saints Bridge. I'm not sure. Yeah, the physic and the rune arc. The problem is that I don't I can't afford to just like keep buying fucking rune arcs though. That's the other problem. No, I think he's up here. Yeah, there he is. Hello. Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. Can you hear me? Oh, I am. Please. I just give and I'll pop. Don't dally. Give it your all. Hey, Seth. I got the fucking dragonfly. Oh, he takes big damage from the bow. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, dude, I feel bad for the guy. I almost feel bad for the guy. I mean, I don't know that I'm even going to use that weapon art, but... How do I use the bow on horseback? I don't want to smack people with it. I want to actually shoot. Uh, 
Uh, arrows in the other slot. Okay, hold on. Um, okay. I, I, that doesn't seem to be working. Yo, CBD. Yeah, GG's, dude. And you as well. It was hella fun. It's, it's not letting me use the bow on horseback. I don't know. Can you not use great bows on horseback? Is that... Maybe because it's a great bow, it doesn't let me do it? Power stance it? Uh, how do I do that? I don't know what power... I don't know how to... I know of power stancing, but I don't know... I don't know what that is. I think... I, I don't think you can use great bows on horseback. Triangle R2. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know... I don't know, uh, I don't think it's, I don't think it's letting me. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you can with great bows for whatever reason. I mean, it's fine. It's whatever. Um, I would need 10,000 runes. I don't, I don't think I can come up with 10,000 runes for this. Um, okay. Well, let's, let's take care of the things that we can take care of in Kaled. There's still a few things that we can do here. I'm actually going to go from where I'm at right now. Just think you can't use a great bow on torrent. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too, but that seems a little weird. You know? Like why why does why is my bow a fucking club all of a sudden, you know? Why can't it just be What's funny is that if I do this and like power stance it before, it gives me the stats to use it. But if I try to like switch back to it, then it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work with R1 or R2. Now, maybe it's because I don't have the stats for it. I don't know. Because I, I don't have 22 strength. So maybe it has something to do with the fact that I don't have 22 strength. Okay, well, we'll get it sorted. I, I have some ideas. Uh, hold on, I need to go this way. Let me see. Let, let me let me try left-handed and see. Yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't doesn't seem to work. For whatever reason, the power stancing seems to be causing issues. Yeah, let me let me pop my physic and see. Oh shit! Hello. with stats too it's still not working so I'm not not sure on that uh, I don't think you can I don't think you can great bow on torrent. That's kind of seems to be what it is. Seems like there's something going on with it. I don't know. Think only lion great bow. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I'd say probably, honestly. All right, let's uh, let's hop down here. I gotta I gotta start making my way towards the run is great. Book can be used to torrent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna figure this out. This is gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, chat. There are a few things that I want to uh, get while I am in Caleb. I am gonna head into Celia real quick so that I can grab the golden seed that's over here. I know it's a little bit of a detour and honestly, I probably should have just gone down from the church, but honestly, this isn't that far away that I can probably just go over here and grab it. That is unfortunate though, I will say. That is very unfortunate. It would definitely be nice to be able to fight Radon on horseback with the bow. Specifically the great bow. I'm gonna go back here. And... There's one or two more golden seeds over here. I actually don't remember exactly how many, but there's one or two. It'd be the most accurate of the cosplays. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. I mean, I could probably still kill him with the bow without too much trouble.
There's a seat. Oh, I don't want to get caught by that knight's cavalry. There's, I think, two golden seeds over here. I just don't remember exactly where the second one is. I know there's one just up here. I thought that there was a second golden seed over here, too. Like somewhere back towards where the merchant was, I thought. Maybe not. That said, there should be a grace over here. Somewhere. Really trying not to trigger the knight's cavalry. Crystal tier in the dragon church. What does that tier do? I don't remember. Makes potions revive, but gotcha. Yeah, I probably don't need that. Just grab this, uh, this grace is pretty close. Okay, um, well, I can certainly try to go ahead and get a Radon kill. Can certainly try. Because I don't really know how much more I could do at this point with what I have, so. I guess let's go find out if there's anything we can do to try to kill fucking Radon. I didn't make it over the ledge in time. Yo, take it easy, crazy. Yeah, we're gonna try to see if we can get Radon. From a region lock perspective, like I, I think being higher level, going into uh, going into Liurnia is actually like the play. You know, it sucks we're a little low on stats here, but...
close enough. Oh! <laughs> Alright. This bow does dog shit for fucking damage, man. Like actual dog shit. Actual hot garbage. I mean, I could maybe use the summons, but I, I don't know if I should allow the summons for this. That actually misses me pretty consistently. Oh fuck, he's getting the swords out! Thing is, can I get him to go back to the bow? That's the question. Like, after he gives up on the bow, can I get him to... Pick it back up. I don't think so. Seems like he pretty much commits and then... So I wonder... So I wonder if... Um... It looks like when he uses the bow, he like inches forward just a little bit. And I wonder if maybe I can... I wonder if maybe I can just inch back. Might need some more thought in this one, Chief. Might need to put a little more thought into this build. I mean, technically I have the stats for his other weapon, but I definitely over-leveled it. 
uh, in terms of intelligence anyway. I don't know if it's really particularly useful with that weapon. Probably with the weapon art, but... What is the bow weapon art? Uh, it's the bow weapon art is trash. I, I don't know if it actually has the range to hit him is the problem. I could try, but I don't think it does. I may just use the summons on this fight. big that might hit him a lot yeah maybe the only problem is that he's probably resistant to this magic The meteors don't travel that far, that's the problem. I don't have the fucking... I don't have the... I also don't have enough FP either. That's the other issue. I may just allow myself to use the summons. I don't know. I, I would like to not use the summons because I feel like it's... I mean, honestly, the summons can fucking solo this boss, but... I just gotta figure out if there's a way to maybe keep him in his bow phase. Yeah, I think he just... I think at a certain point he just like flat out just ditches the bow. And also, I don't know if I can fucking dodge those meteors. 
Because I could definitely keep him in bow range and use the bow that way, but... I don't know how I'll be able to fat roll through those stupid fucking orbs, man. Yeah, sure, that works. Oh! I wasn't expecting that. I didn't- that- that shit's got some fucking range, man. God damn. Seems like he actually starts taking more damage when he puts the bow away, too. I don't know if that's, like, super consistent, but...
Okay, that was good. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. Ah, this guy. This guy, dude. Piece of shit, man. I mean, I feel like I can pretty easily get him to 75% health. The problem is, like, how do we progress past that? And also, I'm out of fucking arrows already, so that's fucking great. Well, I mean, I can always give myself more arrows, because that's kind of the whole point of this fight. Um, there's also, apparently, a fucking shitload of those arrows in this fight, too. I don't know where you actually pick up the arrows from, though. On the ground. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously on the ground, but I'm talking about, like... I have a white glow-like items. Okay. I don't know that the bow is the play, guys. I was thinking that if we could stay on horseback, it would be pretty sick nasty, but... Problem is that I'm way over equip load like this. Yeah, I mean I could do the summons, but do do we think that that's like against the rules to do the summons? Like I feel like the idea is that it should be a one v one, so I don't really know that, that. I don't really know that I should do that, you know. How far off am I with stats here? 38. Oh, I actually need 38, though. I can't get away with just power stance in this one, I don't think. Let me see. Well, it's not so much about the region lock as it's about the fact that I'm supposed to be cosplaying and only using their stuff and not using anything else. And I feel like using a summon is kind of cheating. The issue here is that I'm just like way overburdened. So we've got to we've got to solve that. I'm way overburdened, and I'm also just a, like I, I can't use the great sword. The the great sword just doesn't work, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to figure something out with the bow. I'm gonna have to figure something out. I need to see where these fucking arrows are. I don't see any on, like, I'm assuming that they're amongst the battlements here, but... I don't see anything. Like, I'm literally seeing zero arrows here.
Um. Yeah, I don't see any arrows, uh, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, four of them. I found four of them, guys. Oh, shit, we're so fucking paid, guys. And quick shot arrows. Yeah, I mean, that could be an option. But the problem is, like, I, I, I don't know what 30 arrows is going to be enough, though. That's the, that's the issue. And I'm not seeing that many arrows out in the arena here, so... I don't think that there's like hundreds of them out here. I think that there's like maybe 20, but I've found one so far. Well, technically I found four, but it was on one pile of... I might just have to beat the shit out of him with the bow, man. Like that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking at this point. Like I might, I might just have to beat the shit out of him with the bow on fucking horseback, man. I just don't, I don't think 30 arrows is going to be enough, man. And I spent my levels on fucking intelligence. Hmm. If I could get around the strength problem, this would this could probably be okay. The problem is that Star Surge Great Swords, the, the Star Scourge Great Score, Great Swords automatically go into a set. You can't just two hand one of the blades. You have to, you have to two hand both of them, so you don't get the fifty percent strength value on these weapons. I have to have thirty. What is that? Fucking thirty-eight strength. So like that's not gonna work. Those are really my only two options as well. The only thing that I can think of is maybe the weapon art is something. If I can get close and punish. Let me let me just see. Like, I can always give myself more arrows, because that's, like, one of the conditions is that I'm allowed to give myself the necessary equipment for each boss. Ah! Fuck. But I want to try the weapon art up close and see if that might do enough damage. He's probably, like, super fucking resilient against gravity magic, though, is going to be my guess. I should have raided you years ago, Chris. Yo, Blanks, thank you for the raid, dude. Appreciate it, Chief. Welcome, everybody. My name is Hazeblade. I like to uh, speedrun games, and uh, I got to square off with Sir Blanks in the uh, Twitch Rivals PvP yesterday, and it was pretty fucking hype. And uh, today we're getting started on a, on a, a little challenge run with Elden Ring. Uh, I am cosplaying as all of the bosses, <laughs> all of the Remembrance bosses anyway, and uh, I can't upgrade any of the weapons. I'm allowed to give myself whatever equipment in advance, because obviously this is not a New Game Plus run. 
Uh, and I am not allowed to like over level unless it's like absolutely necessary. Uh, it's also region locked. <laughs> And uh, I'm pretty sure I fucked myself with the, with adding the region lock rule. I might have to remove that because I don't know if this is possible. Because I just like flat out don't have the right fucking talismans to do this shit. But we're gonna we're gonna try a last ditch effort here to see if maybe we can use the weapon art on this bow to make it happen. I do still get the two ending strength boost? Huh. Well, maybe I could try using my physic then. The only problem is that I'm over encumbered, so there's no way that I'm going to be able to avoid him. Maybe I can power stance on horseback. That's the only thing I can think of. shit <laughs> that don't do shit chief yeah I mean I could maybe uh, I could maybe power stance on horseback that could be a, a possibility let me let me try power stance on horseback and see if that works just doesn't seem hello um yeah no the bonus doesn't work All right. The the power stance doesn't work with the strength boost with the with the dual swords. I I just popped the physic and I should have 42 strength and I don't. So it doesn't work. Unfortunately, a darn. Yeah, the options are starting to look a little grim here, y'all, because, like I said, I mean, I don't. I threw all those points into intelligence to try to prep for Renala. And the only way I really see this going down is if I use the summons, but I feel like the summons should probably be against the rules. I don't know. I do feel like the summons are kind of like part of the fight, though. So one could probably argue... One could probably argue that I should be allowed to use the summons, but I don't know. Like, here's the thing. I'm, I'm titling this video, Can I Beat the Elden Ring Bosses Using Only Their Own Shit, basically? And I feel like using the summons is not just using their own shit, even though it might be part of the fight. I feel like I'm cheating, so I, we have to find a better way. Gotta farm some runes. Yeah, I mean, we could we could make the <laughs> we could we could go kill the knight's cavalry <laughs> and send him off the bridge. I think that's like what like 80k or something like that that we get from that. That might be enough. Where is the Knight's Cavalry? It's like up here, right? It's not this bridge. It's a different bridge. Actually, no. I think the, that bridge is like up here. Hold on. I actually don't remember where the Knight's Cavalry is up here. I gotta, I gotta refresh my brain a little bit. I want to say that there's a bridge up here. Off to the north of the Ferrum Temple. I'm trying to remember though. I, I honestly don't fucking remember. I have no clue. No, it's not over here. God damn it. Uh hold on. I know how to find them.
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I'm not far off. I'm not far off. It's uh, it's like over here. It's closer to um, the the tower. It's like just north of the tower. I think you can still send him off the cliff if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I'm pretty sure that still works. It's that bridge right there. Yeah, there, there might be enough runes there to get me... I, I just, I don't know. I, I also am supposed to cosplay that boss if I kill it, so... I, I might have partially fucked myself by region locking this. I, I may have to remove the region lock restriction because I, I don't know that I'm going to be able to uh, kill Radon with these restrictions. The thing is, like, I can give myself as many arrows as I need, but the problem is I can only bring in 30 arrows at a time. So... And I'm technically not supposed to cheese bosses either, so... We've got to come up with a way to kill Radon with what we have. And we can go back to Limgrave and grab some talismans, but the, the issue is that... My choices are, are increasingly limited, right? So I have the potential for like 38. Like I, I need to have 38 strength, right? And I could have, the thing is I could have had 38 strength, but I put the points into intelligence because my thought was that, okay, well, you know, we have to start prepping for Renala because we're going to need like 60 intelligence to do that cosplay and... I think what I need to do, well, okay, I probably need to, I probably need to reset because let's be honest, like I threw points into the wrong shit and I think I need to get more creative on how I'm going to deal with Radon, but I'm actually starting to think that I'm going to do Renala before Radon and the reason being is that I don't really uh, I don't really know how I would get to 60 intelligence anyway because if I kill Radon I can probably get to like 41 let's just assume that I can kill Radon right I can probably get to like 41 intelligence I, like, I'm pretty confident I could get eight levels out of it. Isn't she highly resistant to magic? Yeah. <laughs> but that's the whole thing, is, like, the challenge is that I have to cosplay the bosses. So I have to use their own shit against them. And that's all I'm allowed to use. And I, I definitely feel like it's doable. Like, I'm, that's not the issue. And I definitely feel like it's doable without upgrading the weapons, either. Because I feel like if I could upgrade Star, Star Scourge Great Sword to fucking plus seven, this boss would fucking fall over, man. Like, or, or if I if I like had done this differently, and was able to wield the sword, I'd fucking three shot the boss with it, man. Like, I, I don't want to upgrade the weapons because I feel like that would make it too easy. But I do feel like maybe giving myself more freedom with my stats might make this a little bit more like possible so the way i'm looking at it is that you know a lot of these boss weapons they just require so many fucking stats that removing the region lock is probably one way around this right if I don't region lock, then I can go to fucking Altus and, and get a shitload of runes. So, we could remove the region lock and just say, you know what, let's just, like, do this without the region lock because I just, I, I, I don't know. 
I feel like the problem is when I only have access to Limgrave and Kaled, I don't know that it's feasible for me to be able to get my strength up to 38, right? To be able to wield this greatsword. I feel like I would have a chance of being able to do this if I could wield the greatsword, right? Because then it's at least a weapon that I can actually fucking use. The only issue at this point... I, I think I'm going to have to remove the region lock, just to be completely frank, because I... The thing that makes this fight also kind of impossible is the fact that I can't roll. So, and, and the fact that I have no health either. Like, that's, there's just no way. Like, I'm over encumbered. I can't even run. I literally can't do anything because I'm just too fat. I need that other talisman. So, I'm going to remove the region lock. I think that is the thing that's really barring this at the moment. It's just that the, the region lock is completely fucking any chance of me being able to do this. So, region lock is gone. Let's not fucking worry about the region lock for now. And what we'll do is... We will um, head into Altus. I I'm not saying that it's impossible to do it with the region lock in place. But what I am saying is that I don't think that the way I set this particular run up is like it's not done in a way where I can facilitate that unfortunately 